and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Fergate and today we're all talking about the top 10 cursed pictures you should never look at. Beware. So actually the term cursed pictures comes from cursed images, a culture on Imgur, Reddit and social media in general. They're basically like gross pictures or creepy pictures that people jokingly call cursed and I have found a whole bunch for you. But before we get into this video I just want to say thank you for 4 million subscribers on most amazing top 10. We hit the milestone last night from when I'm recording this, I'm not exactly sure when this is going to go out but I want to say thank you to each and every one of you who subscribes, without you it would not be possible. Why don't you leave me a comment letting me know what your favourite most amazing top 10 video has been. Also if you want to leave us like a yay hooray message on Instagram, there is a link to both the most amazing Instagram and Landon's Instagram in the description box down below. You have to do some digging for mine and Danny's. Oh also by the way I have given everything on this list a cursed rating, just for lols. Coming in at number 10 we have this mozzarella hole. Anyone like mozzarella sticks out there? Yeah? You? And you? Nice one, me too. Too bad they're cursed from now on until the rest of time. Oh, didn't you hear? This guy cursed them by sticking one in his belly button and snapping this beyond vile picture. Picture. This snap was posted on the Reddit cursed pictures thread and I couldn't agree more. Who wants to eat that hot sweaty mozzarella stick, lady in the tramp style, out of this man's fuzzy belly button? You do? Go on then. This is every single kind of nasty and all kinds of cursed. I'm gonna start off my cursed ometer by giving this a cursed rating of 7 out of 10. Coming in at number 9, we have the keyboard lurker. The thing about keyboards is that you use them pretty regularly. I spend all day at my keyboard scripting most amazing top 10 videos in quicker times than ever, and I can promise you that if I had a keyboard lurker like this here gorilla, it would ruin my life my life. There he is, just blending in with the black keys until you realise it is a cursed little creep staring right at you, and you literally don't need that in your life. But you know, like if you tried to throw him away, that he would turn up on your doorstep the next day and keep on coming back until you're dead, because he's cursed. Suffice to say, he gives me the creeps. My cursed rating for this chap is a solid 6 out of 10. He's a quiet menace. Okay, gag alert at number 8, we have this rubber glove. Who, like literally, who does this? No, you're wrong, you've gone wrong, absolutely not. Who does this? This is some kind of glove fashioned from the skin of a dead chicken and I'm not here for it. It looks grotesquely majestic as this person swills a glass of white wine. Does white wine go with chicken? Sure. Is this picture cursed? Absolutely. Once again, I'm not here for this. I don't care for this. This is vile. I guess what can we expect from the cursed images Instagram though? As cursed images go, this is a solid 8 out of 10. Blech. Coming in at number 7, we have this lockalicious image. I never had a locker at high school, but I know that a lot of you watching will have had one or even have one now. I think maybe it's more of a North American thing. Either way, this picture is clearly cursed. Who would do this to another human? I know kids can be cruel, but like, this isn't okay. So someone has stuck a mulched up banana to a locker along with some chewing gum and sauce all over the padlock. Opening this up would get pretty messy, and I'm giving this a cursed rating of 6 out of 10. Alright, you need to stop touching me silky troll, this is coming in at number 6. I don't like this one bit, I absolutely don't, on record I don't like this. This crouching silk clad creep can't decide if her hair is made of string or fur. I say her, I wouldn't necessarily fancy assuming this troll's identity, you just can't really tell. What I do like, dare I say it, is that the troll's face is shaped basically the same as its nose. It's a nose face, a wrinkled snouter with very heavy set eyes. There is definitely a curse of foot here. I can't tell if this kid is smiling because they have no choice and if they don't this silky nose troll will get them or because they're in on it too. Maybe they're a quiet menace. Kids do freak me out sometimes, especially when they're sitting on weird silky troll laps. I am calling a curse factor of 9 here. Alright, breakfast. What is that breakfast cereal with the cartoon B? Like is it Honey Nut Cheerios or something? Whatever it is, this is like that but gone horribly wrong at number 5. Ok I lied, they're not bees, they're wasps, but I needed to segue. Wasps will sting you good and proper with no remorse. Why are there so many wasps in this bowl of milk? Do I want them in my mouth? Absolutely not. Why there are so many wasps in a liquid death bath, we literally don't know. Is this picture cursed? 
clearly I'm giving this a big old curse rating of 7 out of 10. I'm keeping my mouth shut. Oh, until I saw this delicious cake at number 4. Mmm, come here delicious cake. Oh wait, so what is a delicious cake doing on a list of cursed images? We love cake, I'm feeling pretty hungry. Imagine, it's your birthday, you're very excited, people start singing and you realise you're about to be presented with a birthday cake. People are singing, the lights are off, maybe there are candles, but then you're presented with this. Ugh. Unless it's your face. Actually, maybe it's even weirder to have a cake with your own face on. I don't know. Maybe it isn't a birthday cake. Maybe it's like a leaving cake or something. Either way, it is still creepy and still definitely cursed. Who wants a slice of that soft pink double chin? I am giving this a cursed rating of 7 out of 10. Alright, what lurks beneath the slide is coming in at number 3. I don't know about you, but I love a good slide. I really do. What could be more fun than having a little whiz down a slippery slide? You go even faster if you slip on something silky too, like a scarf. You know what I find really takes the fun out of a slide though? Dead people buried under it. This picture is clearly cursed. Seriously though, who wants to play on a playground next to a graveyard? Because I am not one of those people. It's you know, like, yeah, definitely a bit of a buzzkill. Unless you're a goth teen who wants to hang out in the park and indulge in all of their goth teen dreams, and believe me, I have been there. Spooky as it is, this is a cursed rating of 5 out of 10. Okay, so the slide to hell may not be your playground of choice, but what about taking a trip to Nightmare Land at number 2? The Pink Panther, Donald Duck, Popeye, Homer Simpson, and a scary chubby cheeks troll from hell, and your murderous older sibling walk into a bar, and yeah. This would pretty much be my reaction too. I would scream. I would scream and scream and scream and scream. What the literal duck is going on here, and why does Donald have human hands? Only explanation? Cursed picture, am I right? My cursed rating is a solid 10 out of 10 here. Okay, so I thought I would end this list with an actually cursed picture. Like it is cursed by the definition of this list, but also in reality, because looking at it keeps making people physically sick. Get a load of Peggy the doll at number one. Peggy is a haunted doll, a lot like our mates Robert and Annabelle. She looks sweet and innocent, but really she is possessed by a demon that makes people sick. Peggy lives with her own the haunted dolls organizer Jane Harris. She thinks that Peggy is possessed by the spirit of a woman who died of a respiratory condition, perhaps asthma. Either way, looking at this picture of the doll is said to be enough to make someone ill. They get chest pains, they feel very tight, some people feel nauseous, some people are actually sick. Apparently 80 male online readers reported feeling very queasy after viewing a picture of her. Some people even went out there and said that their computer screens froze on viewing Peggy. On top of that, some people have been saying that they've dreamed of Peggy as a result of seeing her picture. How genuinely terrifying. So I'm actually kind of sorry for showing you a picture of her. You're probably cursed now, but I guess that was the risk that you ran when you clicked on this video. Don't say I never give you anything. Like Peggy, a lot of people have said that when looking at your photo um, that they they feel a, a sense of, of sadness and a sense of, of loss. So guys, that was the top 10 cursed pictures you should never look at. Which of these creeped you out the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. For me, I think it has to be the chicken hand. Weird things with food do creep me out. And also mozzarella belly button guy. Like, get that mozzarella stick out of your hairy belly. Alright, before I get out of here, I just want to read some comments from the top 10 scary Ethiopian urban legends. You loved it. Justina Madonsela said, So you guys finally listened to me and did an Ethiopian urban legends. Lit. Thanks guys, mind doing a swazzy one. Love your channel. I am basically up for anything, but scripting that Ethiopian's urban legend video was really hard. It took a lot of digging. There wasn't a lot of obvious urban legends out there. So if you can give me a 10 point list, honey, I'll do it for you. Willow Glover said, Can I have a shout out? Sure, there it was. Kevin Herter said, All wanna know my scary story? We got homework for the summer. That is scary, but you're still in school and you don't have to go to work every day, so really, I don't feel that bad for you. Sandy Wildfong said, Rebecca, you look fabulous. Thank you, Sandy Wildflong. Barber Beach Production said, The name of this channel should be the top 10 urban legends. I think that's very funny. We have been making a lot of urban legends videos, but I think it should just be called Most Amazing Landon. So, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Don't forget to leave me a comment in the comments section down below, and I cannot wait to read them out in a future video. Also, don't forget to leave us a congratulations on 4 million on all of the Instagrams. Once again, some of them you'll have to Google. Thank you guys once again for tuning into this video. I'm Rebecca Felgate, and I'll see you next time.